Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Naughty. Didn't see it. Tail light sec. All right, now we're set up. Hello, race fans, and welcome to the first race for Daytona uh, for the uh, NPC or Mission Pilot Challenge uh, presented by ORC, the Online Racing Collective. I'm, of course, your host for This is the B-Lobby uh, for, um, for the race. Uh, so hang on, let me get my bearings here, and we can start looking at some drivers and looking at some battles. Uh, we've got GS cars here. Um, it's, it's obviously based off of NPC, so we've got the Mustang here we're looking at. Uh, as well as the uh, the AMG behind. Sorry, we've got Discord chat from the other lobby too, from the A lobby. Uh, so let's go ahead and head up to the front of the uh, the pack over in um, in TCR. So we've got Sedlum and the Alpha the Romeo TCR right here. Nice delivery on that Sedlum. Uh, so he qualified um, just outside of the top. Uh, all these drivers. Uh, the, the times were very close uh, in qualifying, and we're looking at about um, you know a couple tenths to half a second usually. Uh, it's pretty average here. I'll go through times if you guys are really wanting to do that. Uh, we're on board with Sedlum. We got Tuke Therapy in the uh, Audi uh, RS3 behind him there. Uh, so we've got a good battle here for first and second in this B lobby. Uh, nice big gap here. Let's see who's in third. Uh, Naughty by Gamer. A lot of these drivers uh, I'm not familiar with. Uh, this is uh, something new. Uh, as uh, Online Racing Collective just launched this uh, January, this is the very first series, technically, where we're launched on our own banner, uh, on our own Steam, with our own website, uh, Online Racing Collect, uh, C O L L E C dot um, site dot com. So if you guys uh, want to come on, come check out the series. We're going to be running all year long, uh, primarily on Forza Motorsport 7, uh, but we will be branching out within the next couple of months to GT Sport, uh, to Project Cars, maybe on Xbox, maybe on PlayStation, it might be both, um, as we gauge demand. Uh, we got watch Naughty by Gamer locking up the fronts there, coming to the bus stop. We got two Hondas. And we got Patriot behind him here in another Honda, and it looks like Trigger Story in the VW uh, behind, rounding out the uh, TCR field. Yep, so let's head back to uh, Pedantic Squirrel uh, in the Mustang, first place in GS for the B Lobby right now. He takes the bus stop nice and clean. Uh, let me see, let me get rid of some of this. Uh, no, where's the map? Oh, there it is, okay. Let's take the map out, perfect. That's kind of in the way. We'll jump on with a couple different cars. Looks like uh, Pedantic's got a huge lead right now. Uh, let's see what we're looking at here Hooligan. These guys might be fighting among themselves. Look at that lead. Hooligan and ooh, in, in the sinister number 666 and represent no RC colors. Thank you very much, Hooligan. Uh, driver uh, came with us, uh, I think, from the last series we did with uh, Tool for Forza. Um, really good guy, I think, out of British Columbia. Correct me if I'm wrong, Hooligan. Um, but a uh, real nice guy. I really enjoy having him here. So hopefully we'll get a chance to, uh, to get some driver uh, interviews at the end. We'll, we'll double check. Uh, looks like an unknown hitman in the McLaren um, actually started uh, at the back of the pack. Um, I don't believe he qualified or had a chance to qualify. Um, so he's moving up the field quite nicely. Uh, the downside is he's only going to be able to get lobby B points though uh, because he did miss out on lobby A. So uh, week by week this will change a little bit. Obviously you might see uh, some of these drivers um, in lobby A and some in lobby B. So. Um, I just happen to be in lobby B uh, because I can only I'm gonna miss a few races actually going on a, on a cruise to Jamaica um, in the Bahamas so um, I'm effectively out of the championship looks so we got a little kerfuffle in the back there so I agreed to um, to just uh, comment the races and get you guys some, some YouTube content so we got Cole and we got Jama battling out here uh, on uh, the back straight here oh Cole I love that livery Cole's always good for liveries. He's got the backwards IMSA, U.S. Army. He is Corporal Cole. Actually, he did serve. Uh, uh, he did serve. So I'm, I'm assuming that's all his, um, all his information there from his real life uh, Army unit there. Uh, thanks again, Cole. I mentioned it last season, or last race we did with the International Manufacturer Spec Challenge. But thank you for your service. Appreciate it. And I dig the livery. So nice gold and black. Pretty. Uh, let's go on board here. We got a good battle between J Mail. Uh, let's change the... Uh, all cameras. 
Let's change these game cameras here so we can get, oh, look at this run from the Aston Martin on the outside. Oh, no, it's a BMW, sorry. It's BMW on the outside from that green Nova right around the outside. So you will see some strengths and weaknesses between these cars. Uh, that's the good advantage here, but uh, we've done a really uh, decent job, I have to say. Uh, not myself, per se, but the ORC admin team uh, with going through particular Severius, um, setting up the cars with this. Um, so a lot of the cars are running you know, easily within three tenths of each other. Um, and it really boils down to tuning and boils down to um, you know, the, the driver's capabilities, obviously. Uh, car track combinations do come into play for this series just like everything um, so sometimes so the Mustang's not going to be super super strong here um, but uh, it can be strong uh, else uh, can be stronger elsewhere than let's say the Beamer the BMW's got that top end speed as we just saw all right so let's uh, check here we got Zach Awesome and their Mercedes uh, the AMG uh, this car really fun to drive really solid really stable platform uh, really, probably, I think it's probably the best all-around car in the GS field. Uh, it just doesn't really excel particularly at anything as we got nobody back, so check out his uh, paints and everything. Now let's put on the map and see what we got here. Check out our battles. Okay, so it's right in front. TCR, there's a big gap. Uh, not sure what happened there. Let's, let's uh, go up. Yeah, so 1 and 2 in TCR have really taken off. Um, of course, that's uh, Sedlum. Ooh, as he goes a little wide there and takes out the cones. I'm very slow. Yeah, right. Try to convince everybody else Sedlum, but I've raced with you plenty of times to know that that is not correct. So a little uh, psychological mo uh, warfare on Sedlum's part. Although if they are reading that, then they already know he's not slow. Uh, here we got the TCR of uh, Tube Therapy. Uh, Tug is new to uh, ORC. Um, nice flat out uh, through the kink there into the, uh, I forget what horseshoe this is, International Horseshoe? No, the other horseshoe. The other, other horseshoe, that's what I'll call it. So the International is the other one. Okay. And they come out of it now, out of the other, other horseshoe. It's a heartbreaking left-hander here. As it keeps settling just inside here. Now we've got two um, pit stops uh, on for this, two mandatory pits. Uh, it was mainly actually because of the Mustang and GS. The Mustang uh, cannot go, uh, cannot make it on one. Uh, so we had to increase it to two for everybody. So it's easier just to keep that. So like I said, we've got a huge lead between the top two. I'm not sure what happened with those other drivers. I don't think anybody's taken a pit stop yet. Um, so now we've got GS traffic actually coming up. So let's actually go back as Pedantic Scroll here has got a decent commanding lead as well. Panic Squirrel is a really good driver too, really fast. Uh, loves this Mustang, I think. Um, I think there's a squirrel in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Look, peeking over the back right. There's the little squirrel. I think he's, he looks pedantic. Definitely. Uh, so we got American flag here on the front. We got the peanuts, which I love. Uh, totally ties into nothing, so it's perfect. Um, and then we got Mobile One, you got Tag Hewer, you got the ORC logo, of course, and the Mission Pilot, and it's a IMSA Gold 50th anniversary. So good job on that, uh, that livery there, uh, Fidandic. And good job on your lead you've built so far. So um, so let's go through really quick uh, with some of the regs here. So the regs are two uh, mandatory pit stops, uh, 30 total racing laps, or 29 technically. We had one pace lap, and we did have, and we're gonna have one finish lap. So they're gonna finish on lap 31, uh, the GS cars. We got Bodacious here catching up. Looks like uh, looks like Trigger really backed off to let him through. A good job of profit or passing here. This is uh, obviously it's up to both drivers, um, more so with with the faster driver, uh, but it does take cooperation from that that slower car too to recognize that he's being caught and kind of where uh, where he kind of wants to overtake him. That kind of be, can be dictated. Uh, Bodacious did a good job of waiting for the right moment and actually gauging. In and looking for the right spot, and uh, Trigger Story definitely helped him out too. Uh, so let's see, we've got oh, Trigger Story, we've got Unknown Hitman coming up in the back of Trigger now. Uh, so let's stay on board with him in the McLaren, bright green McLaren. Looks like he's got all the necessary logos on there too. Uh, G Fuel Energy Formula, I don't know what that is. Uh, 
to make you fast, Hitman, you'll have to let me know. Um, so Hitman, another really good driver, uh, drove with us in the last series uh, for uh, the Blanc Pond series, or Blanco Pond as BLK Ghost, or Black Ghost, aka as we know him. He's got a lot of AKs. Uh, he's in Lobby A right now, so we can't, uh, can't toss him too much. Uh, but, ooh. I know hit my little squiggle on that. that, that I, I would say that's the one issue with this McLaren is it tends to push and provide a lot of understeer for that. It actually looked like that. That was understeer into oversteer uh, trying to overcorrect it. Um, but uh, yeah, diff difficult car to drive, um, I think, if you're not used to that mid-engine uh, setup. I prefer, I prefer personally uh, rear-wheel drive cars, front engine. Uh, that's why I'm in the Camaro, personally, but um, you won't see me racing today, obviously. Or the rest of the season, I guess. It's probably best. Anyway, now we got content, so you, you viewers can look all this and uh, let me know uh, anything that you guys are thinking along the way. Uh, looks like you got that green Nova. Looks like in that uh, parsed out uh, BMW. Looks like he's got he's got a lot of colors going on here. Uh, looks like it's a it's a pick your part type of um, BMW. So maybe somebody wrecked this BMW in the past, and uh, yeah, now he's got a red one, he's got a yellow trunk, he's got a green bumper. Yeah, so this is a pieced together BMW. He comes up on trigger story, let's watch this really quick, just to see uh, how this passing is. Nice and patient on throttle. This BMW is very squirrely under power, uh, so you do have to be careful to see if he takes some. Oh, he's gonna be patient, just be careful, yep. TCRs are fairly fast in the corners. Almost on par with the GS in a lot of cases uh, with, with a fast driver in both. Okay, so trigger elects to go up on the right. Uh, typically, I'd say let's use this opportunity to do uh, to, to set some of the rules. Uh, usually, the slower class will stay low, and the, the faster class will stay up above. Now, that does uh, change sometimes based on uh, you know situational awareness and where you guys are on track and when somebody wants to pass you, you know that kind of stuff. Here comes a bus stop. Looks like, um, looks like uh, that Green Nova's catching up pretty good to Unknown in this one. Unknown drove the Bentley um, last season, did really good. Uh, won his uh, series, won his uh, class championship actually uh, in the M series. Uh, we are actually going to start doing um, platinum, uh, gold, uh, silver, um, and bronze drivers uh, once we get the ELO rating, driver rating. Uh, Simplified and in implemented. We're checking it right now. It's like Cole's catching up in that in that uh, army uh, Camaro back there, the 2016 Camaro. Let's look at this rear view right now. Oh, Cole, really tight line on the grass actually affected him coming out of that corner. The BMW and the uh, the Camaro should be relatively on par. Uh, again, tuning will come into this. Each driver is allowed to tune their car, but they're not allowed to change the parts. The parts are preset through ORC admin and they can tune so sometimes you'll see a combination of car track uh, driver tuning ability um, and even different days obviously uh, sometimes you feel like you want to race and you can race and sometimes you just can't so all this uh, brings into this racing action we see here we got Cole really putting pressure on now looks like uh, that green nova is going to stay defensive make him at least go around the outside and it does work. He holds on to that place right now. It's J-Mail, we see lurking in the background in that um, that Mustang. And it's that hooligan heart, I believe, uh, back there in the, uh, the AMG Mercedes. Looks like we got uh, number two in GS, I want to say, coming up. Actually, I want to stay on this a little bit while we see Cole. Okay, so that Green Nova going uh, defensive again into the bus stop. Yeah, Cole's trying. Doesn't have the overspeed though, so it has to tuck back in. Smart move. Is that bringing, the question is, ooh, a little squirrelier for Cole. Is that, question is, is that bringing j and the other two uh, GS drivers, or, or three total in the back there, is that bringing them more to convention uh, by all this defensive driving? So let's see, Cole looks uh, certainly, his tune is, is I think faster, because it, like I said, I think these cars are on par. Uh, but looks like, yeah, Cole just has that top end speed, look at this. So let's see, is that green gonna go? He goes semi-defensive. No, he actually opens up the inside. Let's see how this plays out. I think he feels pretty confident he can still keep it in. Yep, hear the pop of that um, that turbo 
Look at the background JML up the inside of Hulagenhart. Looks like that, and they're going to go side by side. Looks like Hooligan's going to have the inside though for the uh, for the next track. Hooligan locking it up a little bit, but stays ahead. Actually, uh, Zach Awesome then brings him into the picture in that other uh, Mercedes. Again, as as Cole uh, puts on a pile of pressure onto uh, that Green Nova. A little squirrely there for Cole. Now I'm not sure if Cole's driving on the wheel this time or on the controller. I think the wheel. I'll have to ask him. Right, let's see, looks like uh, that green Nova. Ooh, opens up the inside. Nope. Oh, Cole's gonna tuck back. And that, yeah, look how close Hooligan is now. j -Mail's coming in, Zach Austin behind that. Let's see if Hooligan can, can actually get a get a run on Cole here. He does. He gets a good punch out of that final corner onto the embankment. We're 10 laps in, guys, of 31, uh, but 29 racing laps. Looks like Hooligan Hart, perfect. Hooligan Hart, uh, took a good, took advantage of that and took that spot. Uh, so now we've got uh, Hooligan Hart with uh, Cole all over his back and let's see what Hooligan can do against that green, uh, that green Nova. We got a nice bus stop from all involved there it looks like. Cole shoots out to the outside. Hooligan elects to defend the center. He should have seen that, um, that top end that that uh, Camaro has. So Hooligan now has a good uh, chance to, to totally defend uh, that inside. A little lift from the BMW, that's odd. I don't know if he's trying to relax his finger or something like that, but look at look what that did. Just by lifting that little bit, look what happened. Uh, Cole coming up. Oh, is the BMW late on the brakes? He is. Ooh. Okay, let's watch the rejoin. Oh, look at that. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Track awareness, uh, that green of a great job with that. I know he lost a ton of places, it's easy just to jump in. So guys, that was a perfect example of how to be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, enter the track where you're not gonna mess up anybody else's race. Uh, so now let's see if, um, let's go to this battle, so. And let's get on board with Zach Awesome here. So we've got J-Mail now behind us. So Zach Awesome found a way around that. I'm not sure when that happened, if I was focused on uh, that green Nova at the time. Got Cole right in front. Cole tires, Coco Cole, Long Cole Cole. We've had so many names from this guy, but always a class act, always, always the entertainment of the field. Uh, cracking jokes all the time. Very funny, hilarious guy. So always a good guy to have in, in your races. Sometimes a little inappropriate. Ooh, J-Mill actually sneaks up on the left side there. And takes advantage of that while I was talking about Cole. Now let's see the drag race between um, the Mustang and the AMG right now. And technically with the, uh, with the Camaro as well. It looks like the tuning and the car, looks like they're pretty even. Now it looks like the, the AMG is catching up towards the end there. So the, the Mustang has the punch out of the corner. Let's watch this two wide. Nice. Okay, JMO elects to back out a little bit. I think probably rather wisely right there. Uh, not getting any damage um, as he did not have the inside. Figure out some pit stops up ahead. So that may be our first how to do that? You see that change the map? Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, up and down? Yep, up and down. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's see. Um, you see Zach Awesome jumping in. Dang, we okay. We a lot of GS. Oh, there's your fours of pit physics for you. Great job. Okay, so that fanatic squirrel that went in. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can look at. Okay, let's see if we can look at telemetry here. Oh, come on. Telemetry's fighting me. Okay. Friction, body. Okay, this is good damage here. So, 22%. So, no, he didn't. Fnatic has not come into the pits yet. So, maybe they can take the pits uh, pretty much at any time. Um, uh, but he's, he's going to have to take it here pretty soon. He's got 22, 21% fuel left. No engine damage or anything like that. Tires are at 31 and 25% uh, in the rear, so this should be pretty good, actually. Uh, let's see if we can jump on, jump on board with uh, Cole, who's now finds himself in second after not pitting. Uh, so the two people have not pit stopped so far, it looks like. So we got, look at the tire uh, difference on the, um, on the Camaro. 
uh, versus so 38% fuel left and 23% and 31 in the rear. So Cole's been lighting up the rears a little bit, uh, but he's been really kind to the front tires. So. Uh, for those of you who don't play Forza Motorsport 7, um, the tire model is very lacking, so pretty pretty good. Looks like we got some chatter from uh, Black Ghost. Uh, he said he's been TC. Not oh, he's been disconnected. Oh, Ghost, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's terrible. Hang on a minute. Let me take a break. Let me talk to him. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, so let's uh, check on the next racer in line. Just double check and see what we got as far as uh, damages and stuff like that. Uh, just kind of uh, almost a mid-race uh, double check. So it looks like, okay, so we so we did have uh, Bondacious in the Camaro, or not Camaro, in the Porsche Cayman. That's what I meant to say. Uh, we got him in the, uh, that, that kind of, Cinnamon, I don't want to say cinnamon, like a uh, bronze. Uh, he's bronzed. That bronze GS number 15, uh, Porsche Cayman uh, GT4. So he just went in the pits. He's got 90% fuel left. So uh, that doesn't really. But that does confirm that he did go in the pits. Let's see if Unknown Hitman, I believe he went in too. He had 86% fuel on the McLaren. Uh, four, four and five. So very good on tires uh, so far. Let's go to Hooligan. He had a hooligan as well, jumped in that pits we saw earlier. I wonder if some of these guys are going to wait. So Sedlam here is actually behind, right behind hooligan. And he went into the pits already once. Uh, JMO behind in the Mustang. Yep, just got out of the pits. So it looks like I'm seeing one pit for everybody so far. Yep, the TCR tube therapy. And Zach Austin goes past. Uh, that Green Nova. Yep, just pit two. Let's check on Trigger Story in the uh, VW, uh, 91%, so he just pit as well. Uh, Patriot here in the Honda Racing, looks like Sunset Livery, uh, number 43 looks like. Uh, Honda Racing HPD uh, Civic. Hot Wheels and uh, nice hood. Uh, Naughty by Gamer is next. Uh, we have him in the other Honda and the ARR, the uh, number 45. Looks like he's got uh, a little bit of distance between him. We'll have to double check that. So that is our field right now, gentlemen. Uh, let's back out of the telemetry. And let's pull up the map again. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so we've got some... Got a nice battle pack right here between 17th and 9th and GS. Looks like coming through some of the... Oh! Come on board right on time. Oh, a little bit of grass from Zach. Oh, the Hecarine Nova says thank you very much. And here comes no, two therapies at uh, TCR. So, uh, tough break uh, right there. And the, the other other horseshoe, again, I'm calling it that. Uh, you can correct me in the comments, please. Tell me, you know, I can't remember. International horseshoe and the yeah, other horseshoe. Other other. All right, so we got uh, that Green Nova just uh, made an opportunistic pass on um, Zach Awesome in the black, black cup performance, uh, red, bright red, uh, and being received. Can't tell what that other logo is on the left side of GS. Looks like, looks like the, uh, I noticed Hooligan as well in the AMG locking them up a little bit in the rears coming in, so maybe that brake balance a little off or, or maybe just hitting the trigger too hard. Okay, so let's go ahead up. I mean, that's really the biggest battle. Looks like who we got in the pits right now. Two, so we got Cole in the pits. I think he was the last to pit, although I didn't check on Fanatic to see last time. He comes out of the pits right now. 
Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, nobody, so he's good. So one tricky thing is, uh, you can see on the left side there, that's actually the pit exit. You can see the walls that Forza just took off and decided not to run that. For some reason, some unknown reason, they just throw you right on track. I don't know if that's just a lazy effort from the, um, from the Forza team and making the game. I, you know, I, I don't know why, because they, they got to figure that some people will do damage races and will do league races where that could come into play. And uh, people get spread out. But for some reason, uh, they decided to cut all of that off and throw you into traffic. Same thing as um, with Laguna Seca, too. Um, all right, so Cole was just uh, in and out of the pits. Uh, so let's see. Let's go back to Pedantic in the front. Uh, let's take a look at his view. Pretty boring. Um, he's got uh, he's got a bus stop between him right now, between himself and uh, Bondacious. Uh, what's Bondacious driving again? I think the other No, the Cayman, that's right. The Cinnamon or whatever color Cayman. The bronze, wait, wait. Now uh, we got the Forza screen. Hopefully that doesn't mean we are dead. Did we lose somebody? Uh, we may have lost somebody. Yep, we just lost. I didn't get to see. Oh crap, we just lost Pedantic. We just lost the leader uh, in B Lobby. Uh, Pedantic, let's see, let's confirm up in the top right ticker up there. Pedantic's World DNF. Oh man. That's terrible. Now, luckily, we do have a a, um, a drop round for this series, so it looks like Pedantic. That's your that's your round. So, good news actually, kind of, because I know the Pedantic is faster than the B Lobby time, so um, I think that will give them time to recoup and, and kind of get up there into A Lobby and get some more points. Uh, so we did have um, 43 total drivers sign up for the first ORC Mission Pilot Challenge uh, for this year. Um, so it was it was quite the event. Uh, me personally and uh, the ORC admin, uh, we haven't seen that many uh, drivers uh, once again involved in the series. Uh, now obviously you see we're missing some drivers here because we should have pretty much um, you know full lobby in each one. But uh, we did miss out on a couple drivers that were at town, uh, family events, uh, doing other things. Uh, so in one of these other races and maybe race two race three you know and so on for the series which there's eight total uh, weeks of this that i'll bring to you um actually except for two when i'll be on my cruise uh, so i believe it's week uh three and four or four and five i'll have a look again but i'll see if i can fill it in and maybe get somebody else to comment the races and uh, help us out um but yeah poor pedantic i'm sorry about that looks like we got patriot Naughty by Gamer in. So let's go look at them really quick. Yeah, so we got a drag race out of the, uh, between the two Hondas. Looks like Naughty caught up a little bit. Now, is that the Rockstar uh, girl? It looks like on front. Yep. Over Hot Wheels. Look at that turbo spooling up and chirping. So the Honda, um, I think, was well thought of as, as one of the faster cars too, but it does, I think, have a straight line speed issue. So um, one of the things we do in MPC and with ORC in particular is we balance, we like to balance the cars and continually look at that stuff. Um, it is always hard to judge based on drivers. Like I said, there's, there's a huge deal between driver track uh, combinations and, um, you know, just there's so much stuff. Tunes, um, aero, you know, all the things come into play. So. Uh, even up into the uh, people you're racing with too can throw a wrench and make some people faster and some people slower so um, but we always try to keep an eye on that stuff we never want somebody running away with the championship uh, running away with the times so we will do balance performance uh, as we look at times if we see somebody just completely obliterating the competition uh, then we will adjust as necessary so Hopefully that's a good thing, I think, uh, <laughs> to some people that do get the BOP. I know that uh, they usually don't like it as much, but um, that, is a, that is a pure fact of racing. Uh, something to always keep an eye on. And we do the best we can with balancing uh, the drivers, uh, the tracks, uh, the cars. So, anywho, uh, let's see. So, I thought Naughty was going to catch up to him. It looked like he, he got him out of the pits a little bit. It was really close. It looks like he's dropping back just a tiny bit. Uh, let's see the ticker. Let's. I want to see. 
loop data. So on the ticker up top now, you're going to see it, it kind of jumbled through a bunch of um, everything. So you're going to see distance, you're going to see time, you're going to see uh, all those things. So <clears throat> let's run through the order here when we come through. So it looks like uh, we've got Bondacious now as the leader. We've got Unknown Hitman in second place, Hooligan Heart in third, and of course it went too quick and I missed uh, fourth. Fifth is Zach Awesome, Zachary Newman sixth. And of course I can't keep up, so let's go this way. Alright, so Bondacious in first place in GS. We got um, Unknown Hitman in second place in that Mercedes Benz. I'm sorry, in that. What is he driving? Now I'm second guessing myself on the McLaren, that's right. I gotta get used to whatever he's driving. I wanna say Bentley, because that's what I'm used to seeing him in. Sorry, uh, I know him, man. In the G Fuel Energy Formula. Uh, McLaren, bright green. Uh, McLaren. Alright, so we have um, Hooligan Hart in third place so far. We've got J Mill in um, fourth place. Zach Austin in fifth. Um, and that Green Nova in uh, sixth place. Uh, Sadlam is the start of our TCR field. I've got him in the Alfa Romeo. Looks like um, we've got Cole yep, coming up behind him. So Cole uh, has done a pit stop, is now behind. Tube Therapy next in the Audi TCR. Uh, Trigger Story uh, VW. Yes. The Saks off Fifth Avenue Bosch uh, FCP Euro number 84 TCR. Uh, looks like what else has he got? Liquid Molly, of course. Yep. Corteco. I don't know what Corteco is. Uh, but it looks like he is. Oops. He is. 10th, and then we have 11th. We've got, um, we've got Patriot here in the Hot Wheels, and then we've got Naughty by Gamer now in 12th place uh, in the uh, TCR field. Alright, so it looks like everybody's. If you look at the map here on the left side, everybody's spreading out pretty good now. Uh, let's see. Loop data is on good. See what else I can't remember what else is in here. We got map, uh, we got player focus, uh, we got race stats. All right, we can keep that on. That's good. I like that. Has a couple different things in there, and we got player info. So we got car info, and we've got our dash, uh, telemetry. I was trying to get that on there too. And damage. I'm trying to keep. We can see suspension moving, we can see the heat and the tires, we can see the friction. No, this is uh, okay for the race right now. But we can keep that off on the right side there. The map is big enough, I think. And we can zoom in as we saw on the map and see where they're at. No. Alright, so let's go to a battle here. got fourth and fifth between J Mill and Zach Awesome right now. So let's see how this is going. We got uh, J Mill in the, the big number nine uh, Mustang uh, with Zach Awesome right behind him in the AMG. Uh, so let's watch this for a little bit from the rear, rear camera because there's nothing going on in front of J Mill. Like Zach catches up a little bit on the braking and the power of that uh, Mustang should launch it off the corner a little bit quicker uh, than the AMG. That's one thing I did notice with that uh, with that car uh, is it's got a lot of torque. That and the Camaro, obviously, the Mustang and Camaro were the two most picked cars, and they they went the quickest. Let's head back and look at it from this view too, from the front view. Hmm, yeah, I can press. Let's look at a hood view. Yeah. Up close and personal, let's see if he gets closer to J-Mail. So there's no drafting in Forza, it does not have that capability. Um, it just really depends on the cars and how they're tuned is, is more when you see somebody really catching somebody. Um, I mentioned this before in some of my other races, some of the other Forza races, but let's see how he's geared this. It's, uh, uh, so we have Patriot, Naughty, and um, one lap down already for the, on the TCRs. And, Real squirrely, trying to hold it together. I like the sound of this car though. The AMG sounds really good. Same with the Mustang, same with the Camaro. I, I definitely tend to favor that throaty 
a V8, V10, V12 sound power. Yes, that, that low, that low rumble is good. Wish we could get a cockpit cam, uh, that would even be better. Sorry. Yeah, I think I like the hood view right now. Alright, nobody going, nothing going on behind him there. This is TCR VM, so they're not going to catch it. So. Good line from, uh, Uh, say good line from Zachary coming out of there, out of, out of the other other horseshoe, uh, just extending that all the way up to the end there. Saw Jama pinch that a little bit, and then he saw uh, he saw Zach actually catch up just a little bit. So Jama raced with us actually before in the Block One series as well. A good driver was driving the, uh, the Nissan GTR GT3, I believe, um, in that car. So he did pretty good in that in that series. Oh, look at the under brakes. Oh, maybe too much. No, sorts it out. Wow, that was good. Good effort by Zach there to keep that together. All right, so looks like we got a good battle coming up um, behind these guys. So let's leave this really quick and uh, head back. We got four, five, and six right now, right behind. Um, and we're gonna. My wife's gonna come on really quick in the door, so uh, I'll be back in just a second, guys. Listen to the sound of this car. All right, while I was away, obviously you can see some great battling between um, Unknown Hitman, who's this uh, Hooligan Heart, and Zachary Nova, uh, World 5 and 6. Hooligan, I uh, saw, so just giving him a couple bumps there uh, in the rear to let him know he's there. Uh, can't quite get the drive off the corners uh, that that McLaren did, or maybe just uh, lighten up the rear tires a little bit. Zachary Nova, I think it's far enough behind. Let's see how Hooligan handles uh, the bus stop chicane here. Nice. So the AMGs seem to be really good on brakes. A um, little squirrely coming in maybe on both of them. Uh, but they are catching up in, under braking. And it looks like he's back on un Unknown Hitman again. Coming into around the last corner into uh, into T1. Or cross start finish into T1. Uh, this is probably the best battle. Looks like we do have somebody coming to the pits right now. I can't see that it is right now. Um, as we pass, maybe we'll be able to see... Okay, so Unknown Hitman making it very clear he's going to defend this position around the T1. Hooligan just taking a wide line. It's probably the best bet right now. Nice on the anchors really quick. Yep, Unknown Hitman's going to come out a little bit. Nice respect shown from both. A little bit of touch. Uh, looks like they were locked on each other, I bet. That's something that happens uh, with Forza a lot. We call it Forza Velcro. Um, looks like he's still there on the inside. Hooligan opens up the corner a little bit, drifts all the way out, drifts really far out, yep. Uh, no Hitman is able to get past that, get past uh, again. So good couple corners for these guys, nice respect shown, good hard racing. A little bit of door-to-door, -door, but uh, that's going to be expected. Nice wide line coming in. Trying to get on the power, yep. So Unknown Hitman uh, defending right now for that third place. So let's see, I wonder who that was that came in. A little squirreling on the power again. Let's see if that's loud. Nope, it looks like about the same distance. Uh, we got a top speed from Pole in the Camaro at 232 miles an hour. Jeez. That can't be right. That sounds way too quick. 
Let's say 180 something. That's what I saw. 232. That seems strange. I think there's a glitch there. You can go by that data right there. So it looks like the leader of Foundacious is 33 seconds ahead. Um, this battle's good. And see, yeah, it's that green Nova still hanging it back there. Looks like somebody in the pits up in front here. That'll move uh, I know Hitman, Hooligan Hart, uh, up one position into second and third. So we're at 23 laps, yep, so. Ooh, a little mistake there from Unknown Hitman trying to save it. Hooligan tries to go up the inside again. Again, good respect shown from both drivers uh, on that and not, not actually making contact. Uh, Hooligan trying to open it up again, just trying to ride that outside line. Maybe, maybe make an Unknown Hitman pinch it, pinch the corner a little bit and lose a little bit of speed. Uh, that green Nova you can see in the background there. Also, somebody else. Let's see who else that is. That's Paul uh, back in the mix. Oh! Oh, he hit that curb. Oh, dang. That's unfortunate. You know what? I think actually he got away really well on that. Okay, hey, look at that track entry. That was perfect, too. Hooligan, good job with that track entry. Uh, made a mistake, hit that curb. That curb tossed him to the side. I don't think he got any damage. Uh, we can double check that, but I think he got up really light considering I thought he was going into the corner for sure, into the, the other other horseshoe, into the tire wall. We've seen that obviously lots of times from IMSA in real life uh, going into that horseshoe. Uh, looks like we got a good battle developing behind, so let's let's go ahead and uh, give them some time. We'll go back to 6th and 7th here between, looks like j -Mail. J Mill and Zach Awesome are together. Now right, let's go with Zach so we can look at the hood view and see J Mill in front. Try to gauge this. Looks like Foundacious, uh, number one position, or in GS, uh, yeah, went in. Go down the brakes, catches up to J Mill just slightly. Let's see how the exit is. Looks like we got uh, Patriot 90 by, 90 by Gamer still one lap down uh, from the field in CCR. There goes the ticker across so you guys can see everything. No battles in TCR right now. They're really spread out. It looks like we've got somebody in the pits right now. So we're going to have 6th and 7th, um, which is us right here, I believe. 6th yep. and 7th come across and take, uh, go up one position. Uh, I don't know where everybody is in pit stops. Uh, the Forza does not tell you how many pit stops are complete by anybody. So okay. just have to see them. Um, as we notice them coming in. All right, so now we were on board with sixth place. So who was that that went in? That was, must have been Green Nova, yep. With a green hood. Okay, so let's check. All right, we got, we got third and fourth coming up on some TCR traffic here too. So let's, let's, um, I wanna jump back with uh, Hooligan. Hooligan, all right, looks like, um, Oh, that's right. Uh, Hooligan made that mistake on the curb, so he's back up onto Cole. He's going to take the inside now. Um, looks like that Camaro, like I said, has a top end. Watch it as it starts going away. Yep. So he's got a really good top end on that car, although right when he shifts there, it looks like they balanced out a little bit. Coming to a Honda TCR right in front of us, right before the bus stop. Let's see how they handle this. 90 by Gamer in 12th position. All right, everybody respectful on the brakes, allowing everybody. You can't really pass, you know, to go, it's rough to go too wide here. You can, but you guys will both lose a lot of time. And we've got Cole thinking he can drop off the TCR. And TCR staying high again on the on the top of the lap there. So he maybe felt that he was too far away, or that they were too close to actually uh, maintain that, that uh, tight line on the inside. Uh, any more battles? Let's see. Yeah, we still have. Uh, looks like fifth and sixth behind. Uh, TCR is very spread out, so uh, we'll have to check on uh, Sedlum uh, in a little bit. But I want to keep on board this battle right now. Hooligan seems like he's he's faster, uh, but just having trouble close down on Cole. Cole's got that top end speed. Um, so Hooligan, I think, is better maybe on the infield. Looks like right here, as Cole gets a little drift on you. Ooh. 
That was close. I thought he almost hooked that curve and went to the right. Let's see how they take the kink. Okay, flat out from the Merc. Okay, on the, on the brakes. Hooligan favors that really wide line. And that maybe that late apex or no apex actually just staying on the outside. Yep. Pole stays on the inside and just kind of goes the, the shortest distance around. Uh, ooh, take it dives up the inside. Hooligan Heart with a very optimistic dive. And maybe that um, Patriot caught out Cole. Um, that was position moved up. Uh, the fourth to third on that. Yeah, Cole's right behind him, but here comes the power and the top end speed of that Camaro. Now this is going to be interesting. He's, he, I think he's going to try to box him in. Depends on what Patriot does. Patriot goes and takes a normal race line. Okay, so he might actually box in Cole. Nope, he moves over a lot to give him tons of room. Cole's not going to make the corner. Oh, dang. And he goes into that tire wall. I think he survived most of it. I don't think he had a ton of... Let's go back with him really quick. Right, Cole gets passed by J-Mill and Zach Awesome, and that drops down from uh, third place to uh, sixth place right now. Uh, let's see if we can see some some damage on that car. Well, actually here, we'll just stand board with him, and I bet you he'll come in if the car is damaged. Uh, lap 26 of 31, he's going to stay out. Nope, he's coming in. Yeah, so I think he got some terminal damage on that one. So Cole into the pits again. Um, I'm assuming he already took his two uh, pit stops. Um, because uh, I think this is the third one here. All right, so sorry, Cole. That's a bummer. That was a, that was a good battle shaping up for you guys. Uh, that green Nova is just coming across, I think. Yep. So that uh, demotes Cole back down to 7th, and uh, that Green Nova up to 6th place in GS right now, or 6th place in the race. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, let's go, let's go on board with, um, with Sedlam here in the lead in TCR. We haven't talked about Sedlam at all uh, because he has an enormous gap. Um, TCR really spread out. So the next closest is uh, tube therapy. Oh, tube therapy. And then in the Audi TCR, in second place there, you can see the gap as he comes uh, uh, settle them into turn one. Um, it's actually kind of like a triple. And then the little kinks there, and then into the international horseshoe. As we see tube therapy here coming across, hitting the brakes hard here, staying way far to the outside, and then coming mid track. Coming in the inside, real close to that wall. Getting a little bit of scroll on. And guys, I'll say bye to my wife, so I'll hang on a minute.
Okay, sorry about that guys. I just realized I was talking and, and um, I didn't have my mic turned on again. <laughs> so, there you go. Rookie mistake. Um, we're watching a great battle between Zach Awesome and JMO right here um, in the uh, AMG and the um, and uh, number nine, big number nine uh, Mustang. So I'm seeing a couple battles maybe, you know, it looks like just passing. Uh, so it looks like right behind we've got a GS coming through some of the TCR traffic. Ooh, JMO almost swipes the back of Zach Awesome. Gets all messed up on that corner. Uh, let's go back or let's go back really quick and see. Oops. Okay, you got that green Nova coming by Naughty by Nature or Naughty by Gamer here. Naughty by Nature. <laughs> Not a band or something. All right, so uh, coming up on Naughty by Gamer, let's see uh, how they handle this pass here. BMW again, a little squirrely on entry. It's nice and smooth actually on that on that exit. Not a big gamer stays high. And that green nova goes below here. Who's that in front there? We've got uh, it's a T another TCR car. So we've got uh, let's go over the order here. So we've got Bondacious in the uh, Cayman. Uh, in first place, really revving out those gears. It might just be uh, the game. And we've got Unknown Hitman in um, second place. We've got Hooligan Heart in third. Zach Awesome in fourth. J Mail in fifth. Uh, that Green Nova in sixth. Uh, Corporal Cole or Cole in seventh. Sedlam, that was GS Field. So we've got first in TCR Sedlam. Uh, next, we've got Tube Therapy in second place. We've got Trigger in third. Uh, Patriot in fourth. And Naughty Bad Gamer in fifth. And that rounds out uh, our TCR field as well. So they're coming up to the end here where they're actually going to pull over. So let's go to uh, Bondacious here. And we start at lap 31, uh, which is coming up shortly. We're on lap 30 right now. He's going to pull over. Um, and look how he's coming up into the uh, the uh, bus stop chicane right here. Nice on the brakes, nice and easy. Exit's really nice. So now what's gonna happen is he's gonna actually pull over um, to the front here after start finish so I may have to leave you for a second and I might have to jump over there into the party chat just to make sure so in preparation for that I'm gonna go sign up real quick Perfect. We're on board with uh, with Bondacious taking uh, the the B lobby win, uh, which technically I believe is 14th place points in here. So uh, at least getting some good valuable points. Uh, maybe next week we can qualify a little bit higher and get up there to the mix of the other guys. Uh, next we've got unknown Hitman coming in and parking beside uh, Bondacious. Nice view from the hood livery on that. We've got Hooligan Heart coming in at uh, third. Hopefully he'll line up in third place. <laughs> He's kind of moving around everywhere. Getting you sick, probably. Okay, we've got J Mail coming in at fifth place. That Green Nova in sixth place, still on track. And then we're going to have um, Cole in seventh place in GS after that disaster um, that forced him into the pits, I think, for a third time. So they're going to come up here, they're going to stop. Donuts, but got to be careful. There's still a race going on between the other guys, the TCR field. So, like them just to relax and get in line. Okay, guys. With that said, um, I'm actually going to head over to that party so I can chat with the guys, congratulate them on the race, and uh, till next race, I'll be bringing you NPC uh, race two uh, and I believe three, uh, but not a couple that we're going to miss. So. If you haven't tuned in, please consider subscribing. Uh, this is just a hobby of mine. I like to do real racing as well as uh, some virtual racing. Um, see, we've got Sedlam here finishing off, so perfect. 
Uh, so guys, thanks again for joining. Uh, please click that like, subscribe, and um, look out for some more content. Give me any comments, any concerns, anything like that you guys have. Uh, thanks for joining again. This is ORC Speedy Jab signing out.